Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here and must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. 
Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and... I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right, the Blitz. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. 
It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implant. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Ma'am. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, aye, aye, ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Commander? Do you have a minute? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. And it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? Yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or, you know, for justice. And maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. 
It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Ma'am. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same, but things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I wanted to get to know you a little better, that's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? No, no I don't. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. She seems nice enough. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Any intentions there, Lieutenant? None, Commander. I prefer adventurous women. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Of course. Have a seat. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. Sorry, ma'am. Maybe I got a bad signal. And if you're a... Maybe there's someone else you'd rather confide in. Ma'am. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly, cross my heart and hope to die. What are you talking about? Uh, Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. There's a lower deck rumor that she's uh, interested in you. It's more than a source of Prothean data. She's a very interesting lady. Not to my uh, tastes, but uh, I never claim to be big on alien culture. My relationship with Dr. Tassoni is professional. All right, only a rumor. But you don't have to spend your off-duty time with me. Not if you don't want to. Look, there's nothing between Liara and me. What's the real issue here, Caden? You're right, sorry. It wasn't, uh... Liara's not my main concern. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. You get my meaning? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. I'll try to keep the deck dry. You know the records about the biotic trading out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in 
experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. And the Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. To introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the hell of the Dreadnought that killed your father. When I told him my dad wasn't in the war, he'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time, and Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit. Your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Alenko. I care about Caden. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. 
I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Are you interested in the Lieutenant Chief? No, ma'am. And anyway, Scuttlebutt says he's already sweet and someone. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish this charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? I'm an L2 like you. Trust me, the commander can make sure that Burns follows through. Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. We haven't had time together since our last chat. A lot was said when we talked. You seemed decisive then, Lieutenant. Why so hesitant now? I don't want to distract you too much. The deeper we get into this mess, the bigger it seems. I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. It seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. But at 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble. But I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. That's funny. I'm not sure which of us got the worst of what happened.
Was Rana all right? Rana? Yeah. Yeah, she was fine. We never really, uh... We stopped talking after that. Tell me what happened. Rana had a gentle heart. She loved everyone. Vernus terrified her. We all protected her from him. Everyone, everyone loved her. But after what I did to him, she was terrified of me too. Anyway, this is, um, I had a point here. Aliens are individuals. Just because one's an ass doesn't mean they all are. So, yeah, I hated that Turian. But, but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was Vernus. So that's why you're so self-controlled. I'm no more disciplined than any other biotic shepherd. This is all ancient history. I'm over it. You agonize over doing the right thing and never let yourself lose control. Because Rana spurned you after Vernus died. That's... All, all right. Maybe you have a point. Maybe. But I'm okay. You don't have to worry about me. Fully functional human being. And I won't be a burden on you. On the crew. Caden, you're a strong man. But talking about this doesn't make you a whiner, and it doesn't make you immature. It makes you human. All right, but it's embarrassing you had to tell me that. You're right. I might need to loosen up a little. I'll try. Glad you'll be here when it's over, Shepard. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to some shore leave. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the rack knife? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Ragnar War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Hell of a deal you worked out with Jong, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian administration. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander.
Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we can- It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move! Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. Just leave her down there. Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? I'm sorry, Caden. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know. And I am grateful. But Ash died because of me. Because of us. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Commander, are you all right? I'm sure there's a way to appeal. We're under Alliance authority, after all, not the Council. 
Official channels are closed. They were quite clear about that. Closed. And we're supposed to accept that. So where do you think the best view will be when the Reapers roll through? If we have to sit it out, may as well get a good seat. We're out of the game for now. I need you to be there while I figure things out. You know you can count on me, or any of the crew, Commander. Come on, Caden. I can get a salute from anyone on this ship. Sometimes I need a shoulder. Yeah, I always leave a way out. You know that. I'm here for you, but we're in a rough spot, and the last thing I want to do is muddy things. If it's all that clear to start with, are we the pride of the fleet or not? Are we valued agents or just peons? Can't just pull out a good old-fashioned, it'll be all right, can you? It's that easy, huh? Okay, then. Everything will be fine, Shepard. You'll figure it out. That wasn't so hard, now was it? I could get used to it. I guess we have some downtime to figure out what we are, huh? Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Well, I guess you better go then. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard that. They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islas. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, we're the one left holding the back. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Sean. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send... <laughs> Here, Joker. Now. Commander? You probably shouldn't call me that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. 
Yeah, hell of a thing. We broke our oath to defend the Alliance so we can keep it. What happens if this doesn't work out, Shepard? We mutinied, stole a prototype warship. If they wanted to get technical, they could throw in kidnapping. We're a hell of an example of humanity's best and brightest, huh? I keep reminding myself we're doing the right thing. They don't believe me yet. Well, if I didn't think you were doing the right thing, I wouldn't be here. It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well, I want you to know. Well, I've enjoyed serving under you. Caden, you stopped being a subordinate a long time ago. Don't you think it's time to act like it? Battlefield flirting is one thing, Shepard. There are regs against fraternization. Huh, I suppose breach of protocol will be pretty far down the list of charges at our courts martial. You know what? You're right. About everything. I think about losing you, and I can't stand it. And the galaxy will just keep going. Everything, even the Reapers, will come around again. But you and I... We... Are important right now. And this is what will never happen again. Us. Shepard, you make me feel... Human. Bunk here tonight, Caden. With me. Is that an order, Commander? I'm not looking for a pet, Caden. I'd have gone elsewhere for that. I'm glad you didn't. This can't change anything, Shepard. This is a good crew, the finest I've served with. I don't want to mess it up. It's been a long time since I've met a woman who, uh... Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. You're a sweetheart, Caden. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. I swear, though, if anything happens to you, take care, Shepard. safe now. Where's the commander?
Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm, looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers!
I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It is. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. They knew I was alive. They'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Alenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Alenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Caden Alenko, is stationed on Horizon. Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they send Commander Alenko, it must be big. I suggest you take it up with him. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after him to get to you. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you! Run! Hurry!
Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Commander Alenko here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Commander Alenko? Heard he was some kind of hero or something. That made nothing to me, though. Would rather he'd stayed back in council space. Any idea what he was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling he was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Get away! There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. More than most, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard. Captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you Alliance types. I thought you were dead, Shepard. We all did. Been too long, Caden. How have you been? Is that all you have to say? <sighs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. Thought we had something, Shepard. Something real. <sighs> I loved you. Thinking you were dead tore me apart. How could you put me through that? Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I'm sorry, Caden. I was clinically dead. It took two years to bring me back. So much time has passed. You've moved on. I don't want to reopen old wounds. I did move on. At least I thought I did. But now we've got reports about you and Cerberus. Reports? You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. That you were working for the enemy. Building the defense towers was just a cover story. The Alliance sent you here to investigate me, didn't they? I was here for Cerberus. You were just a rumor. I wanted to believe you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You turned your back on everything we believed in. You betrayed the Alliance. You betrayed me. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Damn it, Caden. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're ignoring the real threat. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of the facts. Maybe. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe you're the one who's not thinking straight. You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. So long, Caden. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive. And with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony. Just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. 
I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 Relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Cade Nalenko was there. How did that go? We've been through a lot. I wish we could have had more time together. Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, uh, Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? Yeah, we talked. It was nice, but things have changed. We let it go. Oh, good, because I was not looking forward to your mood if that went bad. There's a reason I don't date crew, Commander. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral. You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? 
It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You've faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard. Caden. How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major. You hadn't heard? No, I hadn't. Sorry, Shepard. It's been... Well... That's okay. Just glad I bumped into you, Caden. Yeah. Me too. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy.
Shepard! Come on, get up. Here, take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Major Alanko, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the normal. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Hand us enough. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going! You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species, and all their ships, to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Anything of a 
why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? We join forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. You of all people should know what I'm about, Caden. Please trust me. I do, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Come on, Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I just think about what I'd lose if I fail. That's a terrible burden. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. Looks like they've made it to the Archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override it? The Archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side, tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very... capable. That he has. Shepard! I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. They've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are, or who, not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet, controlled by the elusive man himself. Caden... Don't try to explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to hell and back, the person that I loved, are you still in there? Somewhere? They didn't change me, Caden. Or how I feel about you. But words won't convince you, will they? Probably not. I didn't think so. You were always stubborn. <laughs> Me? Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell are you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? They didn't. They'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. She's getting away! Damn it! I got this one!
He's en route. He'll be here soon. We need the data. needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Caden? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial? Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. 
You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How is he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. I assume you're here about Major Elenko. How is Caden doing? The head drama was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just under all. Caden? God. It's hard seeing you like this. Don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc? Let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. And that's an order. Ayara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Caden almost died on Mars. People around me have a tendency to get hurt. Or worse. Caden's a soldier. He knows the risks, as do you. And he's a fighter. He'll pull through. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I'll look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? It was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell them. I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. And I care about what happens to you. Me too. 
That means a lot, Shepard. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. And when I told you about how Rana broke my heart, you didn't judge me. You knew I needed that. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. I'm really glad you came by. Talking like this just reminds me how much I like you. We're good together. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Something else? You've been injured. Sure you want right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. Well, the future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard, to save at least a few lives. Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program. First Special Operations Biotics Division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah, bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... We're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs taking red sand. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. <laughs> are you flirting with me, Commander? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver. But Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No. Not yet. But I hope... Huh. I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. Are we gonna be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. As friends, as more than friends. I mean, I don't know. I just like having you in my life. So, how do we fix it? Maybe you should just know that I'm not seeing anyone, and that I still care. Caden. Hey, look. There's a war on, and maybe you and me will never happen. But I needed you to know that, because that's how we'll get past Horizon. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden.
Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient? How is Caden doing? Stable. There's no evidence of cognitive impairment from the concussion, but multiple shoulder fractures are still on the mend. Bed rest under observation is all that's needed now. I'm sure a visit would be welcomed. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Spectre Caden Alenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human Spectre. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch onto. You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but I'll do my best. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. You're perfect for the job. On Eden Prime, I could see there was something special about you. You're a good soldier. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Spectre Lenko. Stay safe, Commander. Blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. I can explain this, Kate. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin is behind this attack. The Salarian counselor confirmed it. Please, you have proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I better not regret this. You won't. Tina, step away from the console. To hell with this! He's got a gun! as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor. I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palava. 
You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Caden. Hey. I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. Not angry. Just... Not every day you have an armed standoff with someone you love. How it all went down, it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is we stopped the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later, when you have to live with yourself, knowing that you acted with integrity, and it matters. You're talking about Udina. You think he would have come in quietly? Caden, he gave you no choice. You had to take the shot. You acted with integrity. I saw the whole thing. All right. Thanks. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, ma'am. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats. I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Are you and Caden okay? The last time he saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed him of the situation. He is taking it well. Good. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there? I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight, too. Inside them, but I want to be here, you know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um, he's MIA. <sighs> he's presumed. Tell me what happened. Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. He left Mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. It's all we know, but it's, uh, it's enough. She's alone in this now, in all this. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. 
There's strength and camaraderie. And empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. Haunting me. I get that. I do. And my students. Well, whatever they are, I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, <laughs> there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the clothes on my back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kinda like it. Living lean. Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. Can't wait to get back out there. Being the son of Hadrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Palavan. Wars expected to run in the Victus blood. I think it's commendable to follow in a parent's footsteps. Commander, any further intel on that Cerberus bomb? We're all in the dark here. My gut tells me there's more to this thing. Your gut? I mean, Turians on Tachanka? It's odd. Pretty damn odd. The bomb's in the Kelfic Valley, eh? How populated is that region? Since Cerberus has this bomb, it might be dangerous to ignore. I've got some work for the Council I should finish. Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. You can spend your whole life making up for your mistakes. At least the guy went out in a blaze of glory. We still talking about the Primarch's son? Don't worry, Lola. I'm not going anywhere. I'm getting tired of seeing people die. You know, Shepard, this reminds me of Vermeer, of Ash. Yeah. I was thinking about her, too. It's been a long time, but it's still... You know she'd give us a hard time about talking like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she sure would. That's the thing. You can have all the tech, knowledge, experience, but if the failure is mechanical, you're stuck. Poor kid. Commander just walked in. Pretty brave. Hey, Shepard? Victus? Yeah. That was something. He will be remembered, written up as a hero. Turians don't forget something like that. I hope his dad is proud. We're lucky the Krogan didn't find out about the bomb earlier. Probably would have walked out on the summit. Damn brave, what the lieutenant did. Didn't really have a choice. Still. Brave. Maybe we could talk later. I heard something. I, um, tripped. Sorry. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. <sighs> Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Seriously. I think I would have been a goner. Good to see you. Got it. You're clear to board. Yo, 
okay, Commander? Better now. If you can, Edie, that would be appreciated. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make this scope galaxy-wide. And if I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. I will establish the routine now. Edie, out. By the way, Shepard, it's been good having Tally around. She's a good egg. But wait, don't tell her I said that, in case it's some kind of Corian insult. But the Geth? I certainly could have lived happily without coming face to face with another one of those. Got a few things on my plate. Shepard! I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. Hey, there you are. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> if you have to ask, I'm clearly out of practice. Well, when we've got time, you'll have to let me practice. You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seemed like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many? The choice to leave someone behind? Until you're in that moment, I... <sighs> So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the Collectors. Right. Exactly. But so you never saw this coming from them? From him? Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that... That's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. <laughs> Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that, uh... Still has steak. I should get back to this report. I'll catch you later, Shepard. Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how. Or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And... 
There weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. The war isn't the only thing keeping me up at night. I wonder about us. Us. I love you, Shepard. I always have. I want to understand what this is between us. And make it real. <sighs> That's what I want. What do you want? I can't bury what I feel for you anymore. And I don't want to. And that... makes me so happy. And there are benefits to that happiness. <laughs> but more on that later. Later? We need to get back to the Normandy ASAP. Ah, uh, yeah, too late. Our drinks are here, and I'm gonna take my time. What you call it? A sanity check? Mmm. Sanity check. Good news. I've tracked down some of the people I was looking for. The recruits you taught? Hmm. Found J-Squad. Black Ops. They're holed up making a stand in the Midwest, in Chicago, I think he said. Connected them with Anderson so they can help the resistance. It's a relief. Hope more turn up. Hey there. Hey, Caden. Just checking in. I'm glad. Say, you, uh, you left without waking me. Hmm. Didn't have the heart. <laughs> well, thanks, but next time, uh, wake me. What the hell, Shepard? What just happened? Actually, don't tell me. I've got work to do, and I, I can't be distracted. I was plugged into the virtual world of the Geth Consensus. Saw their history, purged Reaper infection. Crap. Now I'll be obsessing about how that works, instead of doing my Spectre Division expense report. You're welcome. You know, entering the Geth Consensus is going to be the best chapter in your autobiography. Ready for the next mission. Whatever you got. Got the flush. Mmm. Full house. Caught it on the river. Shit. Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Cannon, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, sir, Major Olenko, sir. Hey, Commander. Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come on. That really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away? Investments? I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. That was quite the negotiation you've pulled off. And having both the Quarians and the Geth on our side? That's a very good thing. 
totally took down a Reaper. Yep. Sure did. Yes, you did. Hell yeah. And you know, I'm just gonna have to go with you on trusting the gas. I hope it works out. You know, let's talk later. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. We lost a lot of good people when Saren and the Geth hit this place. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. A lot of memories here. Jenkins and that damn Geth recon drone. And Nihilus. Guess we've got a lot of people to remember down here. Even if we're not fighting Geth this time. Not a lot of other people have had my back from the beginning. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I wasn't gonna miss this one. I hope my enthusiasm doesn't seem unprofessional. <sighs> I can't stop grinning. Benezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now, maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I remember your mother. She fought in doctrination and mattered most. And this brings all those memories back. What if Thessia faces the same fate? Not for long. We'll find the catalyst and save Thessia. I hope you're right. Commander, we were just talking to Liara. She's a strong one. I'd say her world's just been completely rocked. Completely? Adams and I were just remembering Novaria and the terrible way her mother died. Liara seemed so together afterwards. Couldn't have been easy. For weeks, she told me stories about her mother. Yeah, me too. I have a feeling she'll be okay. Yeah. Hope so. And don't worry about Kai Lang. Now that we've seen his dirty moves, next time, he's getting his ass kicked. Count on it. Shepard, feel the quickening? Elusive man better say his prayers tonight, because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Tide is turning. I feel it. After what I saw down there, I have never been more filled with rage. Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. Looks familiar. I have been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the human soldier are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. All guests need to sign in at reception. 
pretty damn calm. Commander Shepard of the Alliance, you just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. That will be. We have no Dr. Garnell. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The excess elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Oh, this doesn't seem right. Come on. Let's look around. Carefully. Commander, over here. You won't believe this. What have you got? That wasn't Garneau. This is. Looks like he's been dead for a while. So Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data. And a personal log with eight missed calls from a Dr. Ann Bryson. Ann Bryson? Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you all right? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... All right. Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. No memory of the last ten years. They'll have a lot of catching up to do. So Leviathan has the power to take down a Reaper, and the ability to indoctrinate. Do you think it might be a Reaper? If it is a Reaper, then I want to know what it's up to. How long has it been out here, and more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Garno's notes? Yes. They suggest that Garno created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. They're powerful and dangerous. That's for sure. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. Have you ever seen anything like that, Shepard? And it feels good to help those people get their lives back. Ten years is a lot of lost time. Let's make sure we never let time just slip by us. Okay? So a Reaper goes rogue and kills one of its own. And that's what we're looking at here, right? Bryson really was onto something big. Amazing. A lot of smart people in this galaxy. I'm a lucky guy to work with so many of them. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Makes you wonder... What exactly is down there? Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. 
It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Absolutely. But then what? And say it is a Reaper. Do we really want its help? Nobody says we have to be friends with it, but if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Banged up, but fine. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Could we get the Normandy down here? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. How do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade, repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Shepard, perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing? First. We'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? Looks like we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Shepard, I gotta say, I'm not too crazy about this plan. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. A Shepard. I'll be fine. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one.
Shepard, can you hear me? She's freezing. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a headache. <sighs> Never do that again. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. We proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Anne. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. Nice to have everyone back on dry land, so to speak. You scared the hell out of me with those risky stunts, Shepard. I mean, I guess it's also part of what I love about you. You know, whenever we discover something amazing like that, I wonder what else might be out there. Or even right under our noses. Shepard, can you hear me? You okay? I'm fine. Might need a little backup. It's good to hear your voice. Joker, told me what happened. I'm on foot, but not far. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. A what? Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned Staff Analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Seems like you're having a bad day, Shepard. You could say that. <laughs> Landing pad's over there, but it's behind a lock gate. Let's look for a control panel. Nice outfit. Ah, uh, control panel. Right. So what happened? You fell through the fish tank? We'll talk about it later. Such a shame. It's one of my favorites. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. Uh, just a minute. Can you open the gate? Back. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. Nice to see you in action on the car lot. It was, uh, pretty hot. Why, thank you. What would I do without you? <laughs> You'll never find out. You're looking radiant, Commander. As in beautiful, or as in causing invisible damage? Why can't it be both? Ow, my heart. Nice. Oh, speaking of, can you see my exit wound? The Medigel is supposed to match skin pigmentation, but it never does. Just smile and wave, Brooks. Did I ever tell you about my casino run-in with the Vorcha Mafia? 5,000 credits and a bottle of whiskey? Actually, never mind. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. So what's your point in trying to kill us? Because I don't have her memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Major Alenko. I would have picked the other one on Vermeer. 
Ashley something? You're just a pale imitation of the real thing. Go! I'll cover you! Move! Never a crate to hide behind when you need one! This is Shepard's! We need to... I don't know. Are you sure you got them all? The other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround her. Let's move. Look at you. What makes you so damn special? Why you and not me? Jeffrey! We have you. Take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> nice view. But this place, it's just so... Not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. I'm not getting between you and Caden, am I? <laughs> not even remotely. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. We'll just end up back here anyway. Am I right? Trust me. Let me impress you. Oh, no, really? <laughs> Come on. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have, uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. You like to cook, Shepard? Roommate on Arcturus taught me. He said eating cafeteria crap 24-7 was bad for morale. <laughs> Is there anything you're bad at? Where'd you learn to cook? Class is a jump zero, believe it or not. Young biotics who can't cook for themselves risk starving. Did you pass? You're burning the garlic. Sorry. I guess I'm distracted. Bye. I wonder. So? We have hot sauce, right? This was great. What? Is it over? Well, what do you suggest? I think we need to find a way to burn off these calories, don't you?
This is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? <laughs> in my dreams, I have a place just like this, overlooking the Pacific. I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Lola, you have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait. We're still talking about combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit ups Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Ugh, goddess. I'm gonna have to go with James on this one. Oh, thanks, Shepard. Biotics are a little intangible when there's an example of physical excellence standing in front of you. Nice. Wow, Shepard. Did you really just say that? Don't worry, Caden. Your kind of physical excellence is still my kind of physical excellence. Check it out. I can also roll my tongue. Oh, my. That's... Shepard, if that's your decision, I support you. Always. James, please stop doing that. Hey! <laughs> Need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music? Check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Except when you're not. And, uh, in that case, find me later. When you were younger, you ever just throw people around for fun? People? You know, people, things, stuff, pets, cars, whatever. Of course not. Oh, yeah. As a kid? All the time. All the time. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little physical supremacy. But can you do that with a drink and a snack in each hand? Sure. Ugh. Wow. <gasps> Why is Caden lapping you? Don't act so surprised. Jacob is showing you up. How come? What do you mean? This is my thing, baby. You seem a little slow tonight, James. Well... Nobody's perfect. How's it going on your end? Oh. Okay, now. Let's find a more fun way to get sweaty. Come on, let's dance. Hey, everyone! Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. 
If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay, everyone say Normandy. Normandy! was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? sleep either? No. Making yourself crazy with this won't help. Caden, I need to... Shh. Just take five minutes. A quick drink. And then I'll go. Shepard, you know that you've done everything you could, right? I hope so. I keep running the numbers to see if I've missed something. You don't have to take this all on yourself. Look to your crew, to the talented people fighting by your side. What you've accomplished since the Reapers arrived is, oh, it's just nothing short of amazing. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be what it is. What are you thinking about right now? Uh, the good times and the, the hard times. <laughs> it's been an unforgettable few years. I'll never forget that first night we bunked together. Yeah. <laughs> of course not. I mean, I was uh, pretty spectacular, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're exactly what I need right now. Okay. <laughs> I lied. I, I didn't come here for a quick drink. You mean a lot to me, Kate. I love you. I've always loved you. Through all these years, through, through everything. I'm the luckiest man alive. Hey, 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 where are you going? 
All right, King. What's up? Are we gonna make it, kid? <sighs> We're ready. You've put the people together, the vision, and what you've done, Shepard, is build hope. I'm glad I inspired that in you, but sometimes. <laughs> You're right. Give us hope and a fighting chance. Hell, the Reapers better watch themselves. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I thought you were just on life support. Clinically brain dead. Looks like. What was it like? I mean, if you remember. Or. How do you feel? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me. Or maybe. I'm just a high tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know. You're real enough for me. is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows, we're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. We need Shepard, and Shepard needs resources. She'll work with us. He knew you well. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help, so I played along. You were trying to protect humanity. You didn't have a choice. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwaz and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He used those people as a shield. You never saw what Cerberus really was. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. <clears throat> What is this thing? 
This is the human proto-reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. I wish I could have helped. You're here now. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Hey, Shepard. That was rough. So relieved to see you in one piece. Ready to head home? Home. Back to Earth. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm ready. About time. About freaking time. And if the Reapers mess with anything I left behind, I'm gonna be so pissed. See you topside, Shepard. Hey, kid. Hey. There you are. You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. And biotics division? Your students? <laughs> More than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Guess we're old soldiers. Hey, Shepard. Yeah. I guess we are. Comrades in arms. We know the score. We know this is goodbye. When this is over? I'm gonna be waiting for you. You better show up. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna fight like hell for the chance to hold you again. But listen, I... There's... Things I wanna say. I mean, looking back, I, I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Messed up kid that I was, never would have dreamed of the life I've had. And I owe a lot of that to you, you know? It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? Scared? Damn straight I'm scared. But that fear is gonna keep me alive long enough to strike these bastards right through the heart. Yeah. Exactly. So... Take care, Major. <laughs> I can't lose you again. Well... I should find the rest of my squad. Yeah. You know... I've never been to London. <laughs> From here on in, it's a straight shot. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. Only a handful. We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Nobody's doing this alone.
while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future.